Welcome. Namaste. Namaskar. Today, let's uh, continue with the rendezvous. And uh, last time I had given you the concept. So today I'm going to uh, take a problem and uh, let us try to solve. We'll see what all methods can be used and come to a conclusion. So I'm taking a, a problem and I've chosen it from the DGMMD questions. So it is on a chart of 5056 and uh, it is a question on July 2018. I'm going to write the question. Uh, at 8 o'clock, your vessel dropped a pilot at uh, Exmouth Pilot Station. Now it is supposed to rendezvous with another vessel uh, for which he has given you a position based on each uh, east uh, channel reckon. And uh, the target is steering 255 at 6 knots. Now, the current is setting northwesterly 2 knots throughout. That means your own vessel and the target, both of them have the same current. He wants to find the own ship course to steer, the time it will take, and the position of rendezvous. Uh, please remember, uh, whenever you get question, you have a choice of solving it on the paper. That means your exam answer sheet. And second is a possibility to solve in the chart. And if you look at this question, actually I can directly do it on the chart. But uh, initially I'll show you how as well I can do it on your paper also. You will get almost same answers if your diagram is correct. So I'm going to show you uh, how to do it on the paper basically. Now, uh, this is a small repeat which I had uh, told you in the concept. Your rendezvous point is where your both CTS will meet, provided there is no current moving. Uh, they will be at both lever tracks meet when only wind is given, or they will be at both CMG meet when either current is there or current and wind is there. Okay. As uh, I said earlier also, whenever you start a question in rendezvous, Please always join the two initial positions to start with because that is something important. Now, I'm going to use one hour vector method and uh, that is how I'm going to solve it on the screen or which is as good as solving on your notebook or your answer sheet. Okay. Now, a uh, uh, few things you should remember when, I, when you're putting on a notebook. In the chart, if you do it, you have everything. You have the grids, you have the lat longs, you have the compass rows, you have measurements you can always take as a reference. But here, I can't do that. I'll have to go somewhat similar to the wind triangle which you had done during your second match competency. In wind triangle, I need to draw my uh, cardinal marks uh, whenever I want to measure an angle. So you have to be a little bit accurate on marking cardinal marks. So uh, I would suggest that use a big protractor, the D. I don't use uh, the one which is in the small geometry box. Please always go for the big set square. And in that set square, you'll always have uh, a protractor. Uh, so you can use that D for angles. It'll be more accurate. So this is something you should think about. For me in this screen, it's very easy. Why? Because I can make angles uh, in the PPT. So it is OK. But when you do it in a notebook, you have to be careful. So that one thing, please remember, you have to do it, or otherwise, it's always preferable to go on a chart where you have all the markings and the measurements as a, as a reference, you always have it. There, okay? Let us quickly analyze the question. Uh, both uh, vessels' positions are given. Why? Because Exmouth pilot station, you know that position, and he has given you the target based on your East Channel Reckon. So both positions are known. You would have gone and plotted on the chart. Uh, he says target is moving. Both course and speed are given for the target. Your own ship, anyway, he's asking you the CTS, but then I need an engine speed. So engine speed, I'm going to take it from the notes, which is on the top of your uh, MMD question paper. So take it as 12 knots. That is what is given. Okay. The set and rate is given in the question, and they say it is common. Okay, it is common. Okay, it's the same. It's the same current is available. Now, uh, since this question actually is giving you real positions on the chart itself, actually I would have drawn on the chart and by drawing, I would have found a few few things. Now that that uh, data, I'm going to take it here in the notebook. I can do that also, it's, it is possible. So I'm showing you this. 
So, uh, let us say this is your own vessel at Exmouth pilot station. And uh, this, please remember, this diagram is not to scale. It's only for depiction. So, don't uh, miscalculate by looking at the uh, sizes of the lines and all. Okay. It is the angles which will match, but not the distance. So, it is only depiction. So, your uh, target... Uh, own well was own vessel. I'm calling it X-ray, and target I'm calling it Alpha. Okay. Now, as I said, please join the two lines. This is an important line. It is called rendezvous line. Uh, rendezvous line is somewhat like a relative motion line, which I already told you. So it's important. Please start with it. Okay. Now, uh, on the chart, when I plotted, I found out that uh, the bearing of the target from my own vessel was. 137 degrees and 45 nautical miles. So it's a very small distance. You can solve the full problem in your chart also, which I will do in the next uh, module, not on this module. This module is telling you what if a question is with a large distance and you'll have to come to the paper and how do you solve on the paper? Because you can solve all questions on the paper. Okay. There's a limitation for the chart. Chart, uh, the positions have to be within the chart, then only I can get the actual values. Otherwise, uh, you can go ahead in the paper. This same question can be solved in two ways because of a particular reason. Why? Because uh, the data given to me is in a particular way. Let me let me just show you what it is. I'll go with the first method. Okay, let us see what is the first method. Since the current is same, please remember, for my geometric calculation, I can discard the current. Because current is a body moment, both are same on both vessels. I can discard and go by CTS CTS meeting method. That was the first method which I told you the three possibilities. I'm going to use this, but you you should be aware of uh, one thing that if I do this method, I'm going to get answer of only CTS of my own vessel, nothing else. I will not get my rendezvous position. So let us even then let us try. Okay, uh, please. Try to draw the triangle always in the target. It is a suggestion. Uh, there's no hard and fast rule. You can do multiple ways, but I always try to do with the target, just like radar plotting. But there's a small difference in radar plotting and uh, rendezvous method uh, that is slightly out of scope for me here. So I'm going to just tell you how to do it. So I'm going to look at one hour triangle. But let us start off the one hour triangle method. Now, this is the first method. Let us start off. Please draw a one hour vector for the target with the force and speed given. Okay. I am at alpha, which is target. Let me start with alpha at target. I'm going to draw, let us assume I take a scale of one centimeter is equal to one nautical mile. I will draw the course of 255 and I will draw it six centimeters. I will reach Bravo. Okay. This is one hour vector for the CTS of your target. From here, to complete my CTS, CTS triangle, I'm going to take my compass. I'll measure 12 nautical miles or 12 centimeters. From Bravo, please cut an arc on the rendezvous line. So you will arrive at Charlie. Now, please join Charlie to Bravo. Please remember, it's a vector, so direction is important. Don't, don't call it Bravo Charlie. It is Charlie Bravo. And that is what is the course of own vessel. And when you measure this, when all your uh, cardinal marks, everything are good in your uh, answer sheet, I get 164. So this is the course to steer. Okay. I knew I had 12 knots, so I have written 164. So you have completed a, a CTS CTS triangle actually. So you are completed. You got one answer. Now I can go for the second answer also here. I can get a second answer. You measure the distance called alpha chap that is on the rendezvous line within this triangle on the rendezvous line. Measure the distance called alpha chap. Now what is this alpha Charlie? Alpha Charlie is nothing but the relative speed between you and him done in one hour. So when I measure it. I get a value and that value I'm going to use. Now, uh, word of caution, this discarding method of current from both the vessels can be done only because the current is same. If they are not same, please don't do it. Okay, I'll, There's a different method of doing, don't do it. And with this shortcut method, again a recap, I can get only CTS. Only CTS as far as the course is concerned. I will not get the rendezvous equation. 
Okay, this is a CTS plus CTS line. So let us see what is the relative, relative uh, speed for one hour. So relative speed for one hour on uh, uh, measurement is coming to 13.5 knots or 13.5 centimeters, uh, which says that relatively you guys are coming closer at a speed of 13.5 knots. Okay. So this is what is you are coming closer. Now, we know our initial distance, which was 45 nautical miles on the rendezvous. So all I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a ratio, which is alpha X-ray, which is 45, alpha Charlie, which is 13.5. With this, I get a time called 3.3 .3 hours. So that means I'm going to meet him in three hours, 18 minutes. So this is your time for rendezvous. I got the second answer also, but still, as I said, I can't find my <clears throat> rendezvous position. Let me go to the second method. I need to do the second method. Why? Because I need to find the rendezvous position. So for that, I'll have to use a second method. I'm going to show you the second. Please again, draw one hour. You can discard the previous diagram. That diagram was only to show you that I can do by uh, discarding the current also, provided they didn't ask you the rendezvous position. But since they are asking rendezvous, it's preferable to go by the second method. Draw one hour vector for target course and speed AB, just like before. This is the same line. I arrive at B. Now, I'm going to apply current for one hour for the target. So that was given to me as northwesterly two knots. So I'm drawing the current vector for one hour. And this is called DD. Now what you need to do is, again, I'm going to draw a vector for even the target uh, for own vessel also. <clears throat> but what is important is you should realize that after one hour, your target is going to be a delta. Your target will be a delta. And if you want to satisfy the principle of rendezvous, a one hour triangle, you should also be there. That means your own vessel also should be there at delta. So that means I know my final position. I know my final position. Now, what I'm going to do is, since the current is same, so I'm going to use the same Bravo Delta as the current for me also. So that is why I'm drawing you a second line. Please remember, there's no need for you to draw a second line. This is just a depiction, just to show you. The current is same. I'm as if drawing the current again on the same Delta Bravo. So that means current is same. And again, from Bravo, I'm going to do the same procedure what I did earlier. Take 12 knot nautical miles or 12 centimeters, cut an arc, we'll arrive at Charlie. Please join Charlie Bravo and you got the course, which is exactly the same 164. I got my course, but the problem does not end here. This is somewhat what we did last time. And now I'm showing you the second method. So let us see what further I need to. I found out my CTS. I'll justify why I uh, again took it from Bravo to Charlie because some of you might think, why didn't I do it from Delta to Charlie? I should not do Delta to Charlie. I should do only from Bravo to Charlie. Let me just justify that. Let us look at it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, let me complete the one hour triangles for both the vessels. You can see we have drawn both the CTS and the current is same. So what I'm going to do is join alpha and delta, which is actually target CMG and SMG. Similarly, join Charlie and delta, which is your own vessel CMG and SMG. So that means you have completed the full triangle for both the vessels. And if this one hour triangle is correct for a rendezvous, both of you will be a delta after one hour. Okay, this is a one hour triangle. In all this chart work, we can take a ratio. Now, all I have to do is blow up this ratio for 3.3 .3 hours. That is what I'm, I'm supposed to do. Okay, now both triangles are complete, but the vessels will take around 3.3 .3 hours, which is 3 hours 18 minutes to reach actual rendezvous point. So, what I can do is I can simply extend this whole uh, uh, vector for 3.3 hours. Actually, I don't need to waste my time on drawing the whole uh, triangles again. Since I know that uh, my positions will be always on the CMG track, all I can do is extend the CMG for 3.3 .3 hours. So that is what I'm going to do. 
uh, before I just do it, I'll just let me justify uh, that particular doubt why I did from Bravo to Charlie even for my own version. Okay, what is the principle behind it? I'm going to give you a, a small uh, a sample. Uh, let us assume that I have a chart work question where uh, my CMG and SMG is known. So let us say I was here at Alpha. Somebody gave me that this is my CMG and he gave me the distance SMG also. So I know after, uh, let us say one hour, I'll, I'll be here. So that means this will be my position. This is where I will be. So how do we draw this contracting method? Or how do you draw this triangle? There are two ways of doing it. My job is to find CTS. Now I can use this current, which is already known to me, uh, just like the previous question, Northwesterly. I can start drawing the current at the beginning, which is at alpha itself. So I'm going to draw exactly in the same direction of Northwester. Okay. I call it Charlie. Alpha Charlie is the current for one. Now, if you want to find the CTS, all I have to do is join your Charlie Bravo. Okay. So I can join this Charlie Bravo. This is my course. So that means with this current, if I stare this, your Alpha Bravo will be my CMG assignment. Now, there's one more way of doing it. Since already I know the final position, I can draw the current in such a way that the current brings me to Bravo. That is my final position. I will draw the current in such a way that it brings me to Bravo. That means I'll draw it like this. I call this D just for sake of uh, explanation. Please join alpha delta. That is also your CTS. You should realize that both are parallelogram and the answer is still correct. What I have done is I've used the second triangle on the sample. That is what I've used on my rendezvous triangle also. So please uh, try to look at this couple of times. You'll understand. Contracting method can be done in different ways also, depending on what data is given. Okay. Now, uh, let us see this uh, completion. Now, let us see what is the completion. To complete the 3.3 hours triangle, all I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to extend the CNG of the target for 3.3 hours, and that itself will give me the rendezvous position. So on the chart, you can go and find out what is this position, this is correct. Now, just to prove that it is correct from all the directions, I can instead extend my own vessel CMG also for 3.3 hours, and you will see it will come and match here only. And uh, this problem, if uh, answers are needed, uh, my CTS is going to be 164. Your rendezvous time is uh, 3 hour 18 minutes, which is your 1118 because you started 8, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. Now, on the chart, we found out the position as this. Uh, when you solve, there will be a small variation here and there, a couple of uh, decimal of minutes here and there. Uh, it's okay. It's not to worry. Why? Because uh, the photocopy of your chart also matters. Then your accuracy matters. Your instrument accuracy matters. Please don't bother about it. There might be slight difference. But this is the general answer. Okay. So what we have done is we have got all the answers required as far as this question. You can stop, you can write and go. But what I'm going to do is I will come up with uh, the next series or on this rendezvous only. I'm going to show you what exactly happens when you complete the full triangle for 3.3 hours. And then I'm going to show you the exact question on the chart with real positions I'm going to. So I'll come soon on that uh, module within a couple of days. Uh, until then, keep watching uh, Jal Prayag. Manakam, Namaste, Namaskar.